The Encantos are nature spirits and fairy-like beings that dwell in the rivers, forests, and remote areas of the Philippines. According to folk belief, the Encantos can appear in human or animal form and have many magical and supernatural powers. There are good Encantos who help people and grant them good luck, and bad Encantos who harm people and play tricks on them. So, without further ado, these are the seven most famous Encantos in Philippines mythology. Number 1. Tikbalan An evil spirit that lurks in the deep forests and mountains of the Philippines. It often takes the form of a very tall, half-human, half-horse creature. Tikbalan is said to enjoy playing tricks on people and causing travelers to lose their way. It also has the ability to cast an optical illusion that makes you see what you fear most. Legend has it that the Tikbalan has a golden hair on its back that if you somehow manage to get, the Tikbalan will obey you and even fulfill all your wishes. Number 2. Duende A goblin-like creature is said to live in caves, old trees, or houses that look like untails. They have different colors depending on their character, so they may appear as red, green, or brown with Red Duende being the most evil and the one you should avoid at all costs. According to urban legends, sometimes these goblins live inside or near people's homes, and that's why you should be careful not to annoy them or accidentally step on their houses. Because if you do that, they would either curse you or make you sick. On the other hand, if you were nice and respectful, usually by leaving food, the Duende would protect your home and grant you good fortune, health, and success. Number 3. The Filipino Bigfoot Cabre The Cabres are giant humanoid creatures that live in large trees and are known for their wisdom, strength, and love of smoking tobacco. They have glowing red eyes, dark skin, and sharp long claws. Cabres are usually harmless, unless you do something that makes them angry, like cutting their trees or damaging the forest. Number 4. Molto The spirit or ghost of a dead person who appears to the living, usually to relatives or close friends. The word molto is derived from the Spanish word muerte, which literally means dead. Next we have Bontai Tobi, or the guardians of water, is a term that refers to a race of aquatic humanoid creatures in Filipino myths. The Sirena, half-woman, half-fish creature, similar to a mermaid, and the Seashoy, the male counterpart of Sirena. Seashoy is usually described as a green-skinned humanoid creature with fish-like body. Number 7. San Telmo A ball of fire seen by fishermen and travelers floating above fields and swamps at night. San Telmo is believed to be the lost spirit of a dead person who couldn't pass on to the afterlife. So that's it for today. If you are interested in mythology, folklore, and urban legends, be sure to subscribe and to turn on notifications. Thank you so much, and till next time.